Hey guys, had a question recently on our website, New HVAC Guide, that someone was basically asking me the etiquette or what's what's pr appropriate if you're getting multiple quotes. If you're getting quotes from different contractors that are going to try to sell you what they're going to sell you in your home, what is the proper way of going about that? And until they asked, I'd never really thought of it, to be honest, at least from your point of view. If you're the homeowner, what is it you're up against and putting myself in your seat and you're getting multiple quotes? I think there are three things that I think would help you. I'm going to give my opinion on these three things. But one thing I've realized with helping people with the new HVAC guide is every market is different. Um, things that might work in one area might not work in another and there are also other opinions when it comes to this deal. Let's get into this. The first thing that I think you should know as you're getting multiple quotes from multiple heating and air contractors is what is the etiquette or what is appropriate as far as scheduling those folks? If you're getting, let's say, three quotes, should you schedule them all three at the same time? Now, I can tell you as a contractor, that has happened to me. I have pulled up to a house to meet with a homeowner and give them a price for a new system or whatever the reason I was there. And there would be another one or two contractors there at the same exact time. And I can tell you a couple stories with that. I'm not gonna go into all that on this video. Some of them are actually pretty funny. But that said, I think that if I'm the homeowner and I'm getting three quotes, I would argue that you should not want them all there at the same time. And you might say, well, I want them all there at the same time so they can do what they're going to do. They can look at it, give me their little spiel and then be on their way. And it doesn't take up so much time. And that's fine if that's the type of person you are. You know, if you don't want to have to think about it and you want to spend the least amount of time on it, and that's fine. But I do think there is something to be said for you are making a big investment here. You've got three people in your house and you want to get to know them at least a little you want to be able to ask them a couple questions, give them the freedom to be able to talk to you one-on-one -on -one personally and answer that question without a competitor standing there awkwardly. And that way they can also be real. They can be transparent and give you their spiel and answer to your question as personal or as general as they wanna be. So in my personal opinion, I don't think it's a good idea to ha have them all there at the same time. In fact, I would even argue you don't want them to be there having tight schedules either. You don't want to have one there and then one showing up 20 or 30 minutes later. I would say you want to give each of those contractors at least an hour, you know, an hour to look everything over really well, talk to you, talk about what your challenges are, answer any questions you have. You should have questions, in my opinion. You should have questions that, you know, you might ask each contractor as they're recommending or talking to you, but then you might have a set of questions that you ask each and every contractor so you could compare apples to apples. I did a whole video on that a while back, basically saying, ask these questions so it can give you some sort of base, some sort of constant that way, as you're comparing them, you know what you're comparing. Number two, this is a big one. The question was asked of me, do you, do I, the, the homeowner said, do you think that I should tell these contractors that I'm getting multiple quotes? And in my opinion, I would argue that it shouldn't be a big deal. That if a homeowner tells me that they're getting multiple quotes, it doesn't bother me at all. In fact, I've even told homeowners they should get other quotes. I've said to homeowners, just so you know, I'm giving you a fair price and I'm giving you a lot of value, a lot of benefits to choosing us. I would recommend getting a couple more quotes so you can compare apples to apples. And then if they don't choose me, then I would just wasn't offering something that they want. Maybe they were making a short-term decision when I was offering more of a long-term solution, if that makes sense. But I also, just on the outside looking in from a lot of these situations, I would even argue that maybe telling a contractor that you're getting multiple quotes might be your signal to them, don't be gouging me here. I'm gonna get other quotes. Give me your good price here. Give me your best option here because I'm gonna be comparing it to others. Now you could argue, hey, that could piss them off. I know there are parts of the country, I didn't know until recently that there are parts of the country that you better keep your heating and air guy happy if you like him 
because uh, helping folks with my website, New HVAC Guide, I have realized there are some of you in markets that, you know, you don't have so many bridges that you can burn. If you burn all these bridges and you make them all mad and you're treating them all like dirt, none of them want to work for you. That would be a problem for you. And then my final, our number three tip, I would say, if you're getting quotes and you're trying to decide who to choose, what brand to go with, all that stuff, is I would ask that contractor for options. I don't want a contractor that's going to be just giving me one option. They're, you know, they're just going to say, Hey, here's, here's what I'm selling you. Here's my single stage low seer system. And that's the only option I'm going to give you. I would say I want at least a good, better, best. And the other thing that I would want that contractor to tell me is of their options, what is their recommendation? If they were the homeowner, what would they choose? And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. If a homeowner asks me that, I love that question because you might say, well, Josh, I bet you're just trying to sell them the best system every time. It gives me a chance to show the homeowner that I'm going to apply some thought to that question and I'm going to say to the homeowner, look, oh, this is your second house. You're not there all the time. It's just a vacation home. Well, you don't need this top of the line cat's meow system. Maybe you should go with this system instead. Or I might say, oh, well, instead of going straight AC, maybe you should go dual fuel because you have liquid propane or vice versa. I might say, hey, you should just stay straight AC on that. Don't worry about dual fuel because you have natural gas and it's not that expensive. The point is of all their options they're giving you, it gives you a chance as the homeowner to hear their thought process, hear them say, oh, I recommend you go with this option, this type of system for this reason. It'll tell you a lot, in my opinion, about who you're dealing with and the relationship you possibly could have in the future. All that said, if you are in the market for a heating and air system, you've got a big decision in front of you. Take your time, get more than three quotes if you think you need to. I always tell folks, get as many quotes as you're willing to spend time to get and that you can get in your market. I know some of you guys are in markets where you can probably have 10 or 15 quotes if you wanted them, but you're making a big decision. For a lot of folks, it's the third largest investment they're gonna make right behind their home and their car. This is a big investment. All that said, good luck. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.